Okay, so I'm back with the second half of my beauty clear out. The first video turned out to be so long that I had to split the video into two. Nobody could sit through that length of me waffling on about clearing out my beauty drawers. So in this part of the video, I'm gonna clear out my mascaras, my eyebrow products and my concealers. And I'm also gonna go through just a couple of the brushes that I own and also some of the new bits that I've got to add to my collection. So yeah, let's get going. So first up, concealers wise, I have already already had a bit of a clear out and now down to the ones that I want to keep so the concealers I'm going to keep are a couple of benefit ones the benefit boing um, so we've got the benefit boing airbrush concealer a small tub you can put it on with a brush or your finger <laughs> I put mine on with my finger all the time it's terrible isn't it um, yeah really really like that it's really lightweight um, it's got nice um, coverage, not that long lasting though, um, but I like the consistency of it. I also really, really like the Boing Hydrating Concealer, um, which is in a twist stick because it has this amazing section of um, hydrating gel. And so for under your eyes, it's really, really good. It keeps them really, really hydrated and that's where I like to use it. So I'm keeping both of them um, because they're also not that old as product. Other concealers that I am keeping is the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. So this is a full coverage anti-aging waterproof concealer. This stuff is amazing. It's not drying, it doesn't go crepey, it keeps your under eyes looking really, really nice and I team it with the amazing CC cream that I talked about in the first part of this video along with another recent addition which is the Givenchy Mr. Light. So this is a brush ended twist up concealer. It's basically Givenchy's version of Touche Eclat and um, I can't use Touche Eclat, I find that I'm allergic for some reason and um, so I'm really excited to have this now. It's um, you can use it under your eyes, on your eyes, all to sort of illuminate your eyes. I like it for you doing my eyebrows because it's quite precise. So I can put it underneath and down and a bit on the top and then just blend it out. Love that. That's definitely a repurchase product as well. I would definitely buy that again. Then I have a couple of these. So I'm going to get rid of one. These are actually a concealer stick with witch hazel in. So they're by witch. And they're really good for when you want to cover up a spot, but you don't want the spot to get any bigger. So this dries out the spot while you're concealing it. Really rate this as a product if you haven't heard of it before. It's definitely worth a go. They're both the same colour. I think I bought two because I couldn't find it. And so I went and bought it again and then I found it. So let's bin this one. I think probably the one that's further down is probably the one that I've had the longest as well. So yeah, going to keep that. And then I'm also going to keep everybody's favourite concealer, Lasting Perfection Concealer from Collection 2000. I th is it Collection 2000 anymore? No, it's a collection, isn't it? Uh, yeah, everybody's got this because it's just such a good, cheap concealer. So I have this in quite a light colour and that's because I use it to highlight my nose and um, above my cheekbone and things like that for when I do contouring. Really nice, cheap and cheerful, does exactly what it says on the tin, so keeping that. So then I'm gonna move on to brows. I seem to own a huge amount of brow products and I don't quite know how that happens, so I definitely, definitely need a clear out because I'm now only really using two or three products, so the rest I think can just go streamline my collection. So the products that I am using all the time, so I'm going to keep are two pencils, one is the Givenchy eyebrow pencil. I have it in dark brunette. It has the little spoolie, the brush on the end, and it's just, you know, your standard eyebrow pencil. But the lady at an event I went to, one of those Givenchy makeup artists, she showed me how to do my eyebrows to get that really like neat look, which I always wanted. And she used this pencil. And so they sent me one so that I could test it out. And it does, it does work. You've got to keep it quite sharp. Um, but it's really, really nice. Really like the um, shade of colour. It's a nice ashy colour. It's not too warm. And along with that, I also have this pencil, which I also use quite a lot, which is the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. So again, you've got a really fine tipped um, pencil on this side. This is one of those ones that you screw up rather than have to sharpen. And on the other end is your um, spoolie. So I use those two quite a lot. 
to make sure you get the lid the right way round. And so those two are staying in my collection. Along with them, I obviously use Mr. Light to put above and highlight. But I also use this, which is a really, really nice product. It's the Benefit High Brow Glow Pencil. Um, so it's a little highlighter pencil. So you can just put it, I'll put a bit on now, just above your eyebrow there and blend it out. or um, And underneath as well to really highlight your brows. Really quick, simple to use, good for traveling. So keeping that. I'm also going to keep um, this little um, Benefit um, brow kit, which is actually a powder um, kit. It's well used. You use a little angled brush, which I have. I actually have a Benefit one, which um, I haven't opened yet, um, but I'm going to open it and keep it with this kit. I was using just a simple angled brush, but this one has the uh, little mascara wandy bit on the end so you can brush through your brows. It's a lighter colour for this part of your brow and a darker colour for that part of the brow. It's literally like, it's like a how-to guide there. So that is staying in my collection. I'm getting rid of, because they're a bit old, this Pixie Brow Gel, because, uh, grim. However, really, really nice product. Really, really like it. It's good for fixing your brows. Also going in the bin, simply because I just don't really use them and I think they're a little bit old and dried up, is Benefit Gimme Brow, which I really, really like and I have previously used. So this is the new packaging and this is the old packaging. Really good to just quickly brush through your brows, but my brows need something a little bit more than that. So these have sat there this one's a bit old, I think should go anyway, and I think this one is a bit dried out now because I've had it a while. So those two are going in the bin, but good products. If you've got slightly um, more hair and you just want to whiz something through to really highlight your, or bring out more of your thin brow hairs, it's brilliant. Oh, this is going in the bin. This was such a waste of money. This is the Maybelline Tattoo Brow Pen, right? You might have seen this on the old television and I got sucked in, I did, to try it. So it's like a felt tip and it's got these tiny little three prongs. The idea is, is that you use these three prongs to sketch in your brow. It's pants. Literally didn't work, I talked about it on my stories. I bought medium brown, you can barely see it. Um, and you know what, this was 9 99 and it was a waste of money. I mean, I don't know whether I can actually get it to um, attempt to draw something on my hand, but you'll see what I mean. If you press down too hard, you just get a big smudge. And if you don't press down hard enough, you just don't get the impact that I wanted. There's no precision to it. I didn't like it. Not enough punch. Maybe it's because I should have bought the darker colour, but anyway, 9.99 in the bin there. Pretty annoyed about that, I'll be honest. And also going in the bin, uh, but it's been well loved, is my brow archery pen from Soap and Glory. So this one was a felt tip at one end and a crayon at the other. And as you can see, it's had a lot of use out of it. I loved this um, eyebrow pencil. It's one of my biggest um, ones that I used. The felt tip side, you can sketch your brows in and the pencil side, you can fill them out. Loved it, but it's just a bit old like other products that I'm using now. So that's gone and I'm also going to get rid of this um, Revlon um, eyebrow pencil simply because it's just not as good as the Givenchy one <laughs> so I have two Bin. so I'm going to move on to mascaras and this is going to be really easy because I'm only going to keep three three mascaras and I have a lot of mascaras so the ones I'm going to keep are Benefit Bad Girl Bang this mascara is the dog's what's it's really really good lifts my um, lashes amazingly um, and now whenever I use something else I'm like oh it's not as good as bad girl bank and it doesn't stick on your lashes so much like their benefit um, they're real I could never get that off this is tricky to get off but it's not as bad it's got really good staying power really really jet black um, so yeah this is staying in my collection and this will be um, one of those products that I will most definitely um, repurchase. 
Mascara number two that I'm going to keep is another recent acquisition. This is the Bare Minerals Lash Topia. So this is the first um, Bare Minerals product that I've ever tried actually. And it's really, really nice. It's a really good just daytime mascara. It's got good volume, separates out the lashes, really nice jet black. And yeah, just a little bit better quality than um, like a drugstore one. So that is number two that is staying in my collection. This is all of my mascaras. So this is gonna be obviously a real damn. Now this is only going in the bin because it's empty and it's old. If I had this in a full size and it was newer, I'd be keeping it because Benefit Roller Lash is absolutely lovely jubbly really feathery light lashes it gives you honestly it's beautiful so i should probably repurchase this but obviously i'm kind of like oh i'm trying to clear out not add um but yeah really really rate this um as a really really good mascara all of these are going in the bin so l'oreal paradise Ma or paradise mascara revlon um i've got a what is this a liz earl one um all going in the bin including a little travel size roller lash and it's just because they're all too old so and I'm not risking it near my eye if it's old. A couple of ones that I'm sad to get rid of are a couple of Givenchy mascaras now I'm hoping that in that little goodie bag that is actually a Givenchy mascara then I'll feel a lot better because I had not only a little travel size one um, but this Givenchy um, mascara which has quite a quirky um, wand so it's actually a ball shaped wand so you actually have to put it on rather than like this you have to put it on like this forwards and it's a little bit different but oh my god it covers every single lash and really lifts them up but this has to go because much like a lot of my other Givenchy stuff it's a little bit old so but I'm hoping I might look in that bag in a minute hoping that there's a mascara in there. We've got a rather large collection of lipsticks here, so let's do lipsticks next. Now, I have had a pre-sort and already decided what's staying and what's going, so I'm gonna bash through these quite quickly because there is a lot. So, going, Kate Moss for Rimmel. Loved these when they came out, absolutely loved them. Um, I had loads of them, in fact, I mean, I had literally the whole set. Um, I really liked the colors, the matte uh, texture, didn't like the smell. Could never get my head round the smell of them, but I've had these ages, so these are just going in the bin. These are also going in the bin simply because I've had them too long, which is a shame, because I actually really, really liked them. So these were Collection Makeup Intense Shine Gel Lip Colour uh, Twist Up. They were both nice nude colours, but yeah, you can see, I mean, they've obviously been used, so it's time for them to get relegated to the bin. Uh, now, I'm in a bit of a debate about these. I've got a bit of a collection here of Collection Lip Creams and NYX Lip Creams, or as I used to call it, NYX. Didn't know it was called NYX. Uh, yeah, can't decide about these. Had these a while. Um, I really like this NYX Butter Gloss, the shade Tiramisu, so I'm gonna keep that. It's a, a gloss rather than a lip cream. And then I'm going to get rid of this because I never really wear reds, especially not orange toned reds. So that's going in the bin. And then, I mean, these could literally almost be the same colours. This is too dark. Uh, bin. I think these are actually the same. I, again, I'm not sure how long I've had these. These are quite close to my lip colour, so I don't really feel like I'm ever really wearing anything. And I've got some slightly better... Not better quality, but better brand lipsticks and ones that are newer. So I am actually going to bin all of them. Bin! I'm going to get rid of these two sleeks, because uh, I never wear them. I've got a matte lip cream here, and this matte metallic, which, oh, which just wasn't my cup of tea at all. No. I did like this one, though, this matte one. But again, when I get to the ones that I'm keeping, you will see why I'm getting rid of all of these because I have just one that I basically wear all the time. And the thing is, once you've had these on your lips, you can't be giving them away to other people. So they unfortunately have to go in the bin. Then I'm also going to get rid of these Too Faced Sweet Peach Lip Glosses. Really liked these. They're quite a nice summery peachy colour, but their smell is strong. They smell like peach, um, which is, you know what you would expect because they're called sweet peach and a lot of Too Faced stuff is scented it's too much for me 
too much for me and they're pretty much exactly the same colour so they are going in the bin. I'm also going to keep, so I'm going to get to some of the ones that I really love and I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep these four Pixie lip creams. So they are their Matte Last Liquid Lip. Um, we've got four colours there. Um, we've got Pastel Petal, Eau Naturel, Matte Beige and Evening Rose. These have this kind of um, teardrop shape applicator on your lips and they're a matte lip cream but they're not too drying because I think they've got rose oil in them or something but they're relatively new and I do like wearing them so I'm not going to get rid. I'm also not going to get rid of my favourite lipstick of all time which is this Burberry lip cream in the shade Fawn. It's a really nice nude colour, like a nude um, beigey colour. I wear it all the time. It's not drying, it lasts ages, and Burberry's not really a brand I ever thought I would buy from, but I love it. I got sent three uh, at the time. Came in sort of blogger mail. So these are the three I got sent. I don't wear these two. So I'm keeping just this one, and I think I'm going to get rid of these two um because i just don't really wear dark colors not decided what to do with them yet i think i've tried them so i think they're probably going to have to go in the bin but this when this is empty uh, i'm going to rebuy because i love it i literally love it and i will just that will be my signature lip color forever i think i'm also going to keep a couple of lancome uh, lip products so one is a they're both lip glosses one is a pinky lip gloss and one is this um clear lip gloss but it's actually plumping so it's called rosy plump and it just makes your lips tingle a little bit makes them plump up a little bit and it's really really nice actually I really really like it don't normally like those tingly products but this one I like so those two are being kept I was going to keep my Chanel lipstick it's a really nice um semi sheer corally colour so it's not too bold but it's really nice goes with a lot of stuff and you know it's Chanel I ain't throwing away Chanel. <laughs> Sorry, but no. Lastly, I'm going to keep this Smashbox lipstick, which I chose at an event, which looks like a scary dark colour, but I really, really loved it at the time. It looks really, really nice on. It's a matte finish, and it is called Booked. Booked. Booked it, packed it. You know what comes next. That's it. I'm going to keep a couple of um, lip pencils, but apart from that, that is everything that I'm going to keep. There are so many palettes in this drawer that literally don't get used. I use the same like two colours <laughs> in every single palette. So you'll see I've hit pan in every single palette in the sort of beige, the nude colour. The first nude colour has usually been used a lot and nothing else because I'm just not that adventurous. So this is the drawer. It's an absolute mess. So I think with this drawer I'm going to be super brutal, like super brutal and get rid of um, quite a lot. So first up is the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. Now I don't know with palettes how long you should keep them for but obviously everybody knows when the Urban Decay Naked 2 came out that's how long I've had it. Should I be getting rid of it? I'm kind of thinking I should. As you can see I've hardly used it. So the only colours really that have been used is this nude colour at the end. I like Booty Call a bit. Um, the black I used a bit, but on the whole, the only reason that's got stuff out of it is because it cracked and fell out. But this one I don't know. I feel like I want to keep it, but I need to know people. Tell me, should I be throwing this away because of how long I've had it? I bought it when it came out. So I'm thinking the answer's yes. I'm thinking the answer's yes, but I'm going to just sit it there for now because I can't decide. I'm definitely going to keep this just because I think it's so pretty, and that is the Kat Von D Too Faced Heart Palette. Look, I can't even fit it in. It's that big. Um, I love this. It's so beautiful. I did a blog post all about it. But this side, I use. So in here, we've got, we've got a nice um, sort of burnt bronzy colour here. I use the pink, sometimes I use the gold. So this side gets used. This is my safe place for colours. This is my not so safe space place. I have no idea what to do with these colours. Look at that, look at that red. I mean, as you can see, I've used this colour a bit. But I mean, there's white. Bright white and bright red. What does one do with these colours? Pray tell. Because 
I just don't know what to do with them. So this palette sits there and just doesn't get used. I'm tempted to sell it, but you can't really sell half of a palette, can you? Because who wants to buy? Or maybe it's so the people who like Kat Von D will. At the moment, I'm going to keep the two things together. Some of these smaller palettes, they're just going to go. Like, I've got a little elf palette, which, don't get me wrong, is really, really pretty. I take it travelling with me. Um, some quite nice rose gold shades. So we've got that. This um, sleek palette. Again, nude colours. As you can see, things have been touched, but nothing's really, like, hit pan. I've got the Makeup Revolution Iconic Pro Palette. Once again, you can see that one cream colour has been used and nothing else. We have the Makeup Revolution Fortune Favours the Brave. So this is designed, um, created by a beauty blogger, uh, Jane from Brit, Brit Beauty Blog, I think. I'm going to have to check that. I think it's Brit Beauty Blog. Um, she helped create this with um, Re Makeup Revolution. It's so beautiful and I bought it partly because I wanted to sort of support her and I was really excited the way it looked but I think the problem is I'm just not that adventurous with um, makeup shades so it's all just sat there not used. Look at it. And I also dropped it and totally smashed the corner. So, you know, even if I wanted to give it away or sell it, I can't because it's absolutely like trashed. We've got this, oh, super beautiful Givenchy Little Eye Palette. This is so nice. This is the Interstellar Palette. It's a little mini uh, eye set. So it's got a sparkly silver, a purple and a nude. Love this. Not getting rid of this, even though I probably should because I've had it ages because it's just too pretty. Keeping that. Um, this one's um, definitely going in the bin. This is a pure palette. Look, the mirror's fallen out. It's smashed. It's just time for this one to just go, go home. Um, also in here, this is very, very well used. Um, again, though, only a couple of colours, and that is the Tartlet Tarte Palette. Lovely set of matte shades, and I hunted everywhere for this, and actually you couldn't get it in the UK at the time that I wanted it. Oh, and I bought it from somebody on one of those Facebook groups that was obviously swatched it and then sold it. Um... It's the Amazonian Clay palette. I'm going to keep that because I love it. Really good selection of matte shades. This is a huge big blush palette. Never touched it. This is the problem. Instagram convinces you that you need these things and because they're cheap. This is a Makeup Revolution um, blusher and contour palette. It's been touched as you can see but apart from that not much. This is going to have to go in a get rid pile, but it can't go in the bin because it's barely been touched, so that's going to go over there. Um, I've got another Tarte palette here. This one I bought when I went to America. This one has been used a bit more. This is the Rainforest of the Sea palette. It's really pretty. The shades in here are more um, sheer, uh, shimmery, but keeping that because I love this shade here and this rose goldy colour and this colour here and this kind of taupey colour so they are all staying. This is a little Estee Lauder palette which um, came free <laughs> with that purchase that I made of the um, double wear light. I quite like it, it's quite good for just chucking in when you're travelling if you want to do an evening look. This shade's really really nice and this sort of purpley colour and there's a sort of taupe colour in there. I mean who even uses these tiny little brushes? That can go in the bin. This is my biggest palette. I love this. This is not going anywhere because it's got every single colour in it that you would ever need in your life. It is the Too Faced Natural Love Palette. Can't even fit it on camera because it's so big. It is beautiful. So inside are just loads of beautiful shades, mixtures of matte, <clears throat> iridescent, um, favourites are this colour here, Hot and Bothered, which I really want to do a kind of like burnty eye, not a burnt eye, you know what I mean, like a warm eye. I love this colour and I love Honey Pot and I love Fairy Tale, but do I ever do anything with all of them? No. Heaven? Beige? Straight in there. So yeah, definitely keeping this. This is great. Straight back in the drawer along with the Tartlet palette, Rainforest of the Sea palette, that little Givenchy 
my um, Kat Von D and Too Faced and that little mini Estee Lauder. So I'm undecided on the Naked palette, so for the moment it's just going to go back in the drawer. So now I need to decide between these, these palettes here, which one to keep. So I think this one, um, this sleek one, bin. Am I going to use it? Am I going to use it? Am I going to use it? I don't know about that. I'm going to add that to a pile over there. I'm going to get rid of this little elf one because it just doesn't have quite the pigmentation that I want. And I'm going to keep this um, Revolution Iconic Pro because I have used this a bit, as you can see. They all need a bit of a clean, but hey-ho. Now, eyeliners. So I really want to keep this, which is the um, Charlotte Tilbury Bronze Garnet colour chameleon eye pencil but I fear that I've had this too long now sadly it's one of my favourite ever beauty products so I'm going to have to rebuy I think I'm also going to keep for liquid eyeliners the only liquid eyeliner that I like is the Kat Von D tattoo liner I have one in full size and one in travel size so I'm going to keep both of these it's honestly the best liner that I've ever tried jet black lasts really well um, so yeah keeping that that's going straight back in the drawer um, I'm also going to keep this um, L'Oreal I don't even know how to say this Kajal and um, so it's a chunky crayon and it's just really good for creating a smoky eye it's really really quick um, love that Things that are going in the bin most definitely are a few liquid liners, all of these liquid liners because I've just had them too long. Rimmel Scandal Eyes and Super Cat Liner by um, Soap and Glory. You know, I've just had them too long and I'm just not using them so they are going in the bin. I'm, yeah, I've got a couple of um, pixie ones which have lost their lid sadly. Um, I really like their pens, they're quite silky, they're easy to blend, they both need a sharpen but I have a snazzy Givenchy sharpener now so I can sharpen them. So I'm going to keep them. They're going in the drawer. I'm also going to keep this liquid liner, which I got um, in a glossy box. It's a fat, chunky liquid liner by Ico. Really like Ico. Liked the skinny one, so I reckon I've got good, good feelings about the chunky one, so I'm going to keep that. That's going to go in the drawer. So this is one of my favourite pencils. <laughs> It's actually just a natural collection brown, but it's old. I need to go and rebuy it. So I'm going to bite the bullet and throw this away and go and buy myself a new one. It's lovely. It smudges really nice. You can create a really simple smoky eye. And when you don't want to do anything um, like harsh, like a black liner, this is perfect. So well worth a buy. I think it's like $1.99. So I'm just going to throw that one away. So that's liners. So... The only other things to go through a couple of new products which I haven't shown you yet. Um, so I've been to a couple of press days recently and I got some Givenchy bits and some Benefit bits. So I've shown you some of the Benefit bits already but there's a couple of other bits in here from an event that I went to. They're mostly travel size which as I said I do like a little travel size section. Good for popping in your handbag and whatnot. So I've got High Beam. A mini bad girl bang so you all know how much I like bad girl bangs I'm really happy to have a miniature version so I don't have to carry around the absolutely massive one we've got a mini hula yeah so in my last video I mentioned that I'd hit pan on my hula and I was gonna have to get a new one soon well I've got a nice little mini one so again really handy when you're going away you don't have to take your big full-size one with you you can leave that at home so I'm gonna add that into my travel section and then high beam, so I've not tried high beam before. So again, this is a mini size, it's a liquid highlighter. I think it looks a bit like nail polish, yeah. Which always scares me a bit. Never quite know what to do with liquid highlighter. Oh, wow, I don't quite like that. Yeah, that's pretty. Okay, good, gonna add that into my little travel section then, why not? And then in my little Givenchy um, bag, wear some lipsticks. So the event I went to was to launch their new lipsticks, which are Le Rouge Liquid. Ignore my accent. Um, so they're a velvet finish um, matte lipstick, but they're quite, they don't dry completely matte. And they, you can see this one actually, I've already used this one, I took it into London, put it back in the box of the video, making it look like it's new. It's totally not, because look, it's got marks all over it. 
Um, so it comes in this packaging with a kind of leather effect and um, slides out like that. And it's got this sponge tip with, and you twist it and the color comes up through the sponge and then you use the sponge to apply the lipstick and it dries to a, like I said, a semi-matte. So that color there that I've just put on my hand is rose flannel. Oh yeah, this is the bright red one that they put on me at the press day and I'm not normally a bright red person but I loved it so much that actually they sent it to me afterwards. So again, I don't know how to pronounce it. Le inter it. Le inter it. It's French, isn't it? Really, really nice red, that one. This one is called Framboise Chamuse. Framboise Chamuse. So again, a little twist. Yeah, this one is a, I would say a purpley toned red. This one is the shade Nude Velours, which makes it sound like all of these are gonna be like real nude shades, and they're not really. They're all sort of reds. These are the three I like, so they're all going, well, all four are going into my collection. And then another little addition to my uh, collection is this Charlotte Tilbury set. Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Icon set, and I'm so excited, because I don't own much Charlotte Tilbury, um, but I've wanted to own quite a lot, and I've already been using these, but I just popped them back in the box so you could see um, what it looked like in the box. So first up is the Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream. Oh my word, honestly, this stuff is so nice. It is magic. In my first video, I said that the Magic Foundation wasn't really that magic. This Magic Cream is magic so hydrating so lovely this is probably going to be a repurchase also being added to my collection is this wonder glow which is soft uh, focus beauty flash so it's kind of like those other primers that i showed you in the first video um this one is peachy toned and it gives your skin a bit of a sheer glow and sadly i'm going to throw the box away although i don't want to throw the box away maybe i'll just throw that bit away yeah throw that bit away and keep this and put things in this yeah <laughs> can you see why i have to have a clear out because i just i keep things I need to be more brutal uh yeah so in there which i'm going to keep is uh, i'll add to my collection is a charlotte tilbury lip pencil in the shade pillow talk now i hear a lot of people saying good things about this lip pencil i think it's a good staple to add to your lipstick collection and there is a tiny tiny weeny lipstick it's literally the smallest lipstick you've ever seen in your life i mean lipsticks if you don't wear them a lot i mean i don't wear them every single day they do last um so this is the shade penelope pink look at it it's kind of a nude shade i wouldn't say it was particularly pink and actually on my lips it doesn't really stand out which is a shame i would have preferred a shade more like um the lip pencil but anyway it's going to go in my little travel section along with the full fat lashes which i haven't tried yet which is the mascara that came in the set all these products are her sort of like best selling products so it's obviously supposedly good so i'll be interested to try that that's going to go in my little travel section i think and that's it for new products the only thing i think left to maybe show you if you are interested is just a couple of my brushes um so i've got quite a wide um collection of brushes i keep them in the ikea pots that everybody has so i've got a mix of um these do you remember when everybody was using these i mean people still use them but i have these i've just got the primark set because they're absolutely fine uh then i've got a lot of real technique brushes which i really really love um i bought the core collection um and then i added on another collection i can't remember um what the name of it is i'll link it below but it's the purple set um, that has more for like eyes and angled brushes which is really nice and then I also have a spectrum brushes set so the uh, pink with the purple heads so a bit of a mix of different ones and then I also have some brushes left over from when I worked as a makeup artist so slightly more um, professional brushes so this is like from Charles Fox which is quite a um, flat paddled brush which um, is good for concealer and things like that but yeah I don't necessarily use the brushes for what everybody says you should use them for and I think you should just use your brush for whatever you want to use it for and that's fine you do you
so much for watching my beauty clear out video i hope you enjoyed it and you managed to make it all the way through to the end and if you watch both parts then double brownie points to you you are my favorite so yeah let me know in the comments if any of these products are your favorites or if anything that i threw away is your favorite i'm really sorry if it is but also i'd love to know your recommendations because as you can see I really like to try new products and I'm always interested in new shades, new types of products and whatnot. So yeah, let me know in the comments. Once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time. Bye.